Yenge, Yenge family. Yenge Keno, away in Nusiemi, Nuvuvamu, Yala. I'm going to do that again here in a minute. Sorry. Um, all praises to Patanzambi, Mpungo Tulendo, Akongo Yavi. Um, so I'm here to bring a message. Mbote, Kwisi Yambote, welcome. Uh, that was now permitted for me to reveal. Um, I read, I saw what was uh, given to the Tokwis from the revelations of Mayamona, which is actually in line with the book that I, I was reading. But at the same time, I was allowed to experience something that now will be permitted because the time is, has come because of the abomination that makes desolate is now currently given the signal of certain things that are to come, especially regarding the NWO and all these other things that are happening and about the plans. And I'm gonna go take you back to when uh, one of the people who was responsible for the incarceration of Simon Toko so many times were the leaders of the Angola and the Congo. Um, I don't know why I can't. Mobutu and of course Nieto um, and what their connections are. I'm also gonna talk about um, the plan that was in motion and uh, the purpose for why many of us were chosen to do what we do. And of course, what was the intent of the enemy at the time to uh, bring forth uh, this interfer inter intervention, uh, interference. All praises. Um, Dumalang. Uh, once again, Kukisi Ambote to all the Banabetu scattered across the earth. I welcome all of you uh, who are non Bantu. Um, this will be a message that I'm sure will resonate strongly among the powers because they're, they are aware of this. And I know um, this cannot be considered a lie from many who people who follow this channel. And I'm who I'm a part of because it took place while I was interacting with um, members of this awakening. Uh, so they were very well aware of the, they don't know why I left the meeting, but now I'm going to explain uh, what happened. And of course, others who don't know what was, there's other people who knew what was going on at the time last year. And there's a reason why I was sworn to secrecy uh, because what took place was something that's not supposed to be possible, but at the same time was necessary because it was meant to complete scriptures that are not written down, but are also known by the enemy and, of course, those who hid the truth. Genesis, the book of Genesis um, speaks about the 400 years into captivity where the uh, Abana that the world calls Abraham has been mistaken to believe it was the captivity in Egypt by the imposter of the whole spectrum, not just any one religion, but many that um, the Hebrews were in Egypt for 400 years, when in reality, they were not taken into Egypt. They were, um, the real banner, the real people went into Ingipiti because of the fact that you're familiar with the, the story of Yosef, you, Joseph was sold by his brothers into this time. And Mosai made it to where he was unrecognizable when they showed up. 
because they didn't realize he was made above them after they had um, discredited his his dreams. And after they had saw that he was in more of the stories that were written, they were always against him for being able to reveal their uh, faults. Um, you know, years ago, I did a video where I gave a revelation and I probably went too far with it. And I know I'm paying for that now, but when I knew the revelation came about Yosefu, and I knew that there were those who were made aware that Tatan Zombie had hidden me uh, away from my enemies. Uh, and it was told that, and I was pre reserved for a time as such as these. Um, ironically, many of the people who were against me have watched some of them even bear the name of the king of uh, Yaounde, Sola. And also they had the same name resembling uh, Paul before he, he, Paul when he was Sola, tax collector for the Sanhedrin. Contrary to what I didn't know at the time, and I'm going to read it in the statement that I, was, that, that I was writing down, it was like it was flowing through me but I didn't know. I hope I, you know, I know I'm going to speak it in English. And I know Isaiah spoke Congo Lingala. And of course, with uh, one moment. Sorry. I have to pause it. I was gone. Okay. All right. So, in what I'm going to do today. Is re I'm not going to be on here too long, but I'm going to talk about some scriptures that kind of relate to this. Um, you know, this past week, I even told my wife, I said, there's been some strange coding that I've been seeing about certain things. And, you know, with my job that I do, it was like, I was seeing things that were related to what I'm going to talk about as to the fact that this is what they're preparing for. Now, you know, everything about this world has been coded so that people who aren't supposed to know don't know the truth about the intentions of what's been going on behind the scenes. You know, nobody was ever supposed to know that there was going to be another exodus, but they were always meant to believe that there would be a second coming of Christ for those who believe that that there would be a, a Messiah figure for the Islam, that there would be a Messiah figure for Judaism. But what people didn't know is that there would be an imposter for the awakening. Okay. Um, because this is the part of the scriptures, because Rome hid this. And that's why um, there's actually been more than several, there's been several of them who have been created for interference for a reason. Um, when Simon Toko was taken into prison several times, as I've learned, and that combined with the same, the controlling interest at the time was where Angola and Congo were involved with a proxy war that was in the 60s, just like South Africa, between Russia and the United States. This is the time of the Cold War. Now I know the reason for that. And as you can now see the events unfolding um, in Africa and the what's taking place is another, uh, now we got China involved. Um, remember China and Russia, people forget the history. They were buddy buddy during the communist party because China was a communist nation, still is. <laughs> And uh, Russia was communist, and they were both allies of each other um, during that time when the proxy war, of course, with the with Cuba and Cuba, and uh, America was going on with JFK, and you see that a Kennedy has now entered into the race. Okay, none of this is by coincidence, by the way. Okay. There have been, as we're preparing for what's called the coronation of Charles, 
you had um, several pe women who have the name Carol or Carolyn involved. And then if you know, the, I looked it up, and the Latin says that Carol, Carol or Carolyn is the feminine of Charles in Latin, where the word Charles comes from. And for people who don't know this, Charlie was a code word for those who um, see Esau as their god. Okay. Of course, he mocks Nimrod for his eye. That's why he changed the timeline about those two things. But um, this is why they do the, the whole eye thing. Okay. I'm going to play the song because I don't own the rights. I don't have the, you know, the, none of this is, co I, it's, not, it's not mine. It's, uh, the copyright doesn't belong to me simply for the edification. But the message I'm going to bring, because a lot of people, you know, I know I'm falling under a lot of attacks. And part of the reason is because I'm not, I was not allowed to talk about the things that I know. Because when I say what I'm going to say, <laughs> I know it's going to send shockwaves to the entire earth. It's for those who hear this, because there are those who know, because it was revealed to them by the dragon, what happened. And then there are those who will now soon find out. Um, it's going to come into the realm of people who have read scriptures like Hanok. Ascension of Isaiah and those type of texts. Okay, that's why Hanukkah was taken out of the scriptures. And of course, it's going to startle a lot of people. Um, you know, <laughs> one of the first people I talked about this was Ayaya, whose channel was taken down, but I was instructed not to reveal it. He said, "No, if you're not if you're not supposed to reveal it, then don't." Okay, and I had asked him some questions. And it's funny because there's things about me he was aware of. And he said, if I tell you, you'll get a big head. <laughs> and I'm like, brother, I, I know things better more than you know. That's why he was astounded by some of the things that I would say. Because um, uh, when I, I know the reason why I was taken to Africa by Tatanzabi. He's the one that orchestrated the whole thing. Um, I know the reason why I came back and what happened afterwards, why it was so imperative that what happened last year wasn't supposed to take place because of those who knew things about me, okay? For those of you who are not aware, I was born in 1974. Uh, before I get into that, let me play the song, and then we'll give praises to Tatan Zambi, and then we'll get into it. Do the song a little. On a Kumba say, you want to go to the city. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, and we Samuna, Samuna, Yesu cleans to the moon Oh, I'm 
Bambu mama kaba si si la Sangenza sa kwele hu Yetwa no so ta ki yo ki no so Samuna Samuna Yesu Christo Samuna Samona, Jesus Christ, to live Some <laughs> Samuna, Isu Christo, you In Samuna, Samuna, Jesus Christ, All praises, Manakumba say, Imana, Imana, the Lamb of Sadi Setu, came on the Tatanzami and Pungu Father, Matona Masaki for this day, for this beautiful day. Kimba, hallelujah. Tatanzami, as I come before you humbly, Tatan, that this will be a day that we will be able to reveal secrets again, as uh, Simon Kimbangu's name reveals. Reveal of secrets of Fumu Kimbangu. 
Manzambi Zola, the highest of being Kwatulendo Tatanzami Pumu, continue to help us in this time to learn the wicked way, to undo, unlearn the wicked ways, come to the righteous path, be holy as we continue to cry out to you for our salvation. Now that the Congo has been woken, we can now bring out this secret, Father, as the time will be going to be ready. Now, come bene, Yave Congo, Ingeta, hallelujah, by your tinkles. Um, last year, you know, there were some things going on. I'm not going to get into the details of it because uh, there are those who know what I'm talking about. But what was funny was I actually had a revelation prior to this that this was going to happen. Um, you know, Shaitani will always do your best to run interference in your household to keep things from happening. But there was a much deeper thing going on. And, uh, you know, it was hard to understand it because I didn't even know that this was all part of what I needed to be experiencing. I now understand uh, some words that were given to me by the late elder, uh, uh, Papa Kitoko, that he told to me that I was confused about. And I'm understanding it more clear as we're heading into this time and, and some others. And, uh, you know, when I was in Embo, you know, there was there, I experienced a strong sensation of change. And I know there was a person who recognized it in my eyes. And I didn't realize at the time that what was happening to me was the land was, was uploading things and changing my vision. It my, was opening my eyes. And, um, it was starting to begin the process of the transformation to become able to do the things to prepare me for. And of course, with the ceremonies that I went through and the rebirthing and all that, um, it was needed for me to fix uh, what was done intentionally that my Amona actually was aware of at the time, uh, what happened to me. Um, when I was in uh, 1974, and once again, I want to honor all of you who are doing the most high's work in spirit and in truth. Yenge Kenneth to Pemba Kalunga, to the righteous of Insuli, down to Adama, to the righteous of Continue, Asalamu Maliki Congo, Bayetin Kosi. Um, I was born in 1974, and ironically, this is my I'm 49 years old now. Uh, people know the number 49 is significant, uh, both to the most high and to the thing, events that took place that people were, were never meant to know that were coded. Um, it usually makes the number 13 in the in the numerology folks, but then becomes a number four. But the number four has a uh, duality to it. It is the first, it represents the first son created after Isaiah, uh, who was the dragon now, uh, Azazel. Uh, I mean, some might well, Gadriel, <laughs> but um, he goes by many names. But anyway, the uh, fallen one. And then it also represents what the Most High did on the fourth day. And it represents the fourth born from Yaounde, who would be the one the tribes would be formed out of, which is, um, this is the right word for it. And I'm going to talk about what is your job, what is your assignment in this, how do you become closer to the Most High, to do your kisula, which is what they say is here in Kikongo. And I'm going to play, talk about, um, what was I going to say, tribe. The real, the real word that we would have been more affiliated with would be Dikanda. Now, why is that important? Dikanda is how you say tribe in Kikongo. Well, what is the Bible called? Nkanda. <laughs> what is the family called? Wakanda. Okay. Um, Makanda or Wakanda means families. Kanda means family. Wakanda means families. Dikanda means tribe. The, the Bible, which we refer to as Nkanda, would be the word of the family. So that means that the Most High knew Tatanzambi that his scriptures were primarily meant for the family, which is what Isaiah talked about, and that the rest of the world, world would get the crumbs. Because that means that his family was supposed to bring the salvation. 
But of course, this is what continued to happen is the intervention of the fallen ones always kept the Makanda from being united. And they still continue to this day and keep us against each other. Kintwadi, togetherness and unity. And this is going to go into the tears among the wheat. So um, we know that Ntino Kimbangu prophesied the when the uh, world would flip, where the people would go on the top and us would go on the bottom, which was something that the uh, powers that be were made well aware of. And Toko was speaking about and uh, persecuted for because um, how the deceivers have deceived about Christianity beliefs that the devil wants to attack you even more when you actually have the truth because he doesn't want his lies exposed. And that was the whole concept of what my assignment was. I was born to expose my grandfather Esau, who I'm also mixed with, with Yakuba. And they knew all the time that this was going to be the mission that was given to me before I came. And so the it was needed to make sure that everything would be done to interfere. And of course, at the same time, I wasn't aware of it that this is around the same time my Amona was having the thing dealing with his heart. And um, my, the every, it was every intention for them to destroy my future. As we have as something that was made aware to me because your enemies will reveal themselves and will show you the plans that were always done for those who were chosen. Um, I'll bring this to Tatanzambi that he is going to continue to bring out this truth about people. This is why he said, now comes the time. It's ready. I'm ready to expose many imposters out here because see what is now transpired is actually the completion of the prophecy of the prophet Elia when he said that the imposter would take the throne. Okay. Now, I know many people, and I know our elder, he said, he warned people that had asked him <clears throat> about Kwatulendo, and he said that he did not agree with what people were saying. Um, but what people didn't know is that, and I'm going to get into it, who allowed this to happen is the Messiah himself, the real one. Because the whole purpose of the weight and the tears that separates it was for those who would continue to listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd and be aware that there would be many imposters who would come in his name, starting from way back in when uh, Simon was talking about Simon the Sorcerer said he was the Messiah and the others like him that started to do the same. And so... Um, and then, of course, the people who would say that they were Messiah before him, they knew he knew about. And that's why he came several times to warn people about how they should be acting. And we killed the prophets. And then uh, we continued to do the same because people really don't know who Bob Marley was. And I'll just leave it at that. Because um, um, Toko was involved with him, too. That's part of the reason why he turned, because he found out about Toko. Um, because the secret societies were always aware of this man. But of course, when Rome gave the decree that no one would speak of it, they followed it. And so did the, um, the controlling families. They said the same of their people. No one will speak of this man and others like him because... Um, it exposes the entire deception that has been in place. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read something. And again, people are going to think it's uh, it's a lie. But of course, like I said, I was in 
the presence of those who remember I excused myself from the meeting and I didn't know what was happening. And it was the strangest feeling because the angel Gabriel, the real angel Gabriel was involved with it. I was born under him because this is when um, I didn't know Simon Toko had done this. When he had called for the he, his prayer for the most hard to change things. Um, and he was doing all the things that he was doing that, you know, I talked about what this is what got people shocked and started to shake things about, you know, who was involved because everybody know who was behind Mobutu. And also when he was ignoring Toko, but he was interacting with the Kimbanguists, I know exactly what was going on in that time. And why do you have the issues of people not recognizing that there's supposed to be unity involved between these two groups? Because I know I've seen this being asked among the elders, why are there, why are there two temples? Why is there one in the, in the in a, why is there a church was the question in um, Angola. And then why is there a church in Kampa? Okay. And, you know, I'm going to explain that now. And we're going to get involved with that as to what Tatanzami already knew was way ahead of it because um, he knows the people who were involved that were responsible for all the attempts on Simon Toko. He knows who was responsible for all the things that happened to Kimbangu and Padi. He knows all the things that took place um, after uh, Toko left in 84 or 83, 84. And he also um, was well aware of what would happen afterwards. And so this is why I kind of, I reveal some of these things to people that, you know, and of course it's a shock to many. And, you know, <laughs> our brother Ayaya said, you know, if you say this, it's going to create even more things. But the most I said, it's time because, um, your assignment has to be done the way you're, you're called to do it, okay? The world has been deceived about jobs, assignments, and things that they're supposed to be doing. You know, you go to school, I've talked about this before, to learn uh, the way of the world that you live in according to what, but they always want to throw God in there just, and they put Jesus on there and they put other religions on there or even they'll say, if I don't even believe, I still have to do what the government talks about. This is why everything is government mandated. Uh, I, I actually did something on Twitter yesterday. I said, you know, people don't even understand that democracy is actually satanic. And I'll tell you why. This is how ignorant the Christians are. Okay. When the Most High created the earth, everything was supposed to be done according to his will and his way. That's where the, the, the dragon played his role with the other woman who had, they took out to say, no, we're going to do things our way. Okay. But that's because he, when he masquerades, he thinks you're doing it the most high way when he's really doing it his way and the world's way. You know, they take a government for the people by the people. Okay. But then in God, but in, in God we trust. Okay. It's like, wait a minute. That's a that's an oxymoron, and the world doesn't get it. That's why they've been bewitched to understand it's always been the most high's way or the highway. And see, his chosen people took the highway because of the argument for those of us, you know, because everything, like I said, was done as a nation. Nations are judged, people are judged by nations and their leaders. We are the same. The Bantu people were judged as a nation always for the acts of the leaders that, that led it. So we always were held responsible for the acts of our leaders. And the world's the same way. So your, your leaders' actions can be the recompense upon a reward or recompense from the creator himself. And that's one of the things that people don't get is by hiding behind the veil of lies, the devil has created a world of deception where people believe things that aren't even true. Okay, that was the whole concept behind Second Thessalonica, Thessalonica 
when it talks about the lion signs and wonders. Okay, so uh, when I do when I read this, you know, it's going to resonate. I, I it, it actually was it kind of made me a little bit teary because, like I said, I'm learning these things now uh, um, from the Most High as to the why He does certain things a certain way. You know, when he says he's doing a new thing, <laughs> I understand what that's about. Because, see, no one knew, very few people knew that when the time of the world would come to an end, it would be surrounding the lies about the chosen people. No one knew at the time that when the world would be coming to an end, that it would be the reign of Esau, which is why they took out that scripture and those and those books. Because the world was never supposed to know that Esau's world was now replacing Jacob and that people would become Jacob just by believing in whatever they want to believe without actually realizing, no, that's not the way it was supposed to be. And that's why they changed things so that people would not recognize it. Uh, so I'm going to read this. This is inspired by the Manda with words that Yusuf Kristu Kuswa Congo was is speaking through the manda, because now um, we have arrived at the time where the world is completely deceived and many of the prophets are completely deceived. And there are many people who are not who they say they are, but are doing things they shouldn't while pretending to be something that they are. And see, when I'm talking about this is because Tatan Zambi knew, as well as Mayamona, Samantoko, Kambano, and others, that the message of the Most High would be used against his people. That the message would be used for the purpose of control rather than knowledge and teaching. Because the intention of the dragon was always to make sure that the purification of the Levites and the 12 tribes would never be united the right way. And that there would be, uh, that Simon the sorcerer would regain his uh, advantage over the masses that he had lost several times to the Most High because they're always challenging each other. And of course, he represents the world of Satan, which is really Esau. All right. Away in the Siemi Luvuvamu, Yala, Yenge Keno. Peace, because welcome, Wikichila. Listen, okay. Mona, um, oh, my writing is so bad. Mona and Candace say Tatanzambi Yamazulu. The children of the family of the Most High of the Heavens. This message was for my demand of sheep scattered across the total earth. I am speaking to you through the Mwanda Vela La Moyan Pevi of Mfumu Yavi Congo, which is the Holy Spirit of the Most High. We have been watching from the Zulu in Pemba Kalunga, which is the heavens. Many servants, including the one you see before you, have been sent to awaken and return the daughter of my dispersed to Tatanzambi, to myself, to the Mwanda Velaga. The kings and queens of the Kalunga have been watching the Wakanda of Zulu for generations. Since my departure, after I spoke to my Abafundi, the enemy has continued to sow deception among the chosen, even until this day. I sent many warnings to prepare for my return. However, this continuous disobedience of the Mana of the Mana of Tatanzambi has resulted in the alteration and deception of the very of, of uh, false messiahs, many false prophets, and many false doctrines, and the elders and the shepherds have turned or demand me over to the wolves in seat closing, just as uh, as Nabi Yamilia Yakongo. The, the, that the wicked chains to Jeremiah spoke. And I'm referring to that scripture, the Melia 50, verse 6. You have received prophecies from Nabi Simon Kimbangu, 
Simon Toko, Gangan Zumbi, Simon Padi, Mats Matsua, I couldn't spell his name. I thought I didn't write it down. Bob Marley, um, Yaya Kempavita, and many others like uh, the Tadi, Simon Kepa, that the imposters changed to Peter. The person who sits before you was chosen by Tatanzami to expose the inner and outer workings of the wicked ones. Through the protection of the Maliki Congo and the revelation of knowledge of the same, he was given many secrets to prepare you all for my return to the Ntoto. He was hidden, but the dragon, like many other servants, did everything to corrupt him and cause affliction upon him because like the Ntoto and his, and like the Ntoto and has, and as Hosea 4 6 says, Mana, Mana Yave Congo, Mana, Fumo Yave Congo's people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Many will ask, why is this man speaking for me in English and defile the wicked and, and uh, defile in wicked tongue? Because this is how the world speaks and believe this is the proper way to Tatanzambi by way of the Church of England. Even though these imposters are the one that who speak, uh, let me see my, my writing, I'm so sorry. Even though the imposters of Rome speak the unholy tongue of Latin, the dragon used this language to conquer the earth. The language prophesied that Tatanzami's people would understand, would not understand to Tata and Saka, to the Tata of Nsaka, Tata Abana, that the imposters changed to Abraham. Many will believe that this man is a lying spirit and will continue to think he speaks to wicked. When it was always Rome and those who knew prophecy hidden from the masses, that one would come to reveal how the imposters deceived the nations. They knew he would come to complete what many were forced to stop because Tatanzambi will not allow more suffering than you can bear. So the time had to come when the people would have more freedom to speak without having a ridicule and physical persecution from the masses of this world, using their own laws against them. This man does not represent the wicked for the same time he saw me. This man does not represent the wicked for at the same time he saw me, the wicked one was present and astounded by what he saw. Because you do not know who was sent from the Pema Kalunga years ago. The wicked saw the sign already, but they hid the knowledge of it, just like the time of Fatima. Tatanzami knew that the time he, that from the beginning, the wicked would use many divisions, divinations to trick the Dememe sheep to following another imposter and who is being controlled by this puppet master. Even the one that was sent to remove the authority from the assemblies knew his assembly would be corrupted after his departure, just like Nabi Kambangu. And of course, this is when uh, Toko gave a warning in his departure, in his song that he sang, as we know, uh, that he only chose to spoke, speak to certain people afterwards. And of course, he prophesied many things about what was to come about that. Tata, play, Tata placed a hidden one among those who were working in the house of the pharaohs. And the tax collectors to a place called to a place called Bantu, but in English, peoples, because that was the church that I grew up in. Because of because of the openness to receive many back, but because Rome hid the truth, they attempted many times to corrupt the the, the real seed, the true seed planted, as prophesied tears among the wheat. This is what this was prophesied deeper than the masses can even know. And what we're saying is all along, you know, there were black people in the churches and the assemblies that knew the real prophecies, but hid them. And they continued to choke it 
away from those that have been planted to help bring it out. And choking, of course, means even having to kill them or turn them, like the uh, prophecy said. As prophesied, this is prophesied deeper. In the apocalypse of Elia that was hidden, there would be one who would proclaim themselves to be me and tell lies to the Dememi of the Tanzabi. Because of this strong delusion placed on many, because they didn't heed warnings that the terror would come to deceive the sheep, he was allowed to come in and take the place of the real throne at Antino Davidi and was put forth a false banner like uh, like like other imposters before him. And um, if you go to IPET, go two, three, they show you the banner, but he didn't, it's not done the same way. Okay. I saw it and I was like, whoa. I saw this in the IPEC Go 3. Okay. So soon, eventually, you're going to see. When I got to the zombie, you're going to see um, that transition because the one world religion will fall under the so called Islamic prophet who will say that Barnabas was the true teachings. And we're getting to that point. The Maliki Kongo have kept secrets hidden from many because they knew those who would come to call themselves the way or door to Tatanzami Pumu, Deus, Dior, Dia, or God of the heaven. The Gentiles remain bewitched, but the Banabetu tears have also been bewitched. The dragon created Banabetu with spiritual demon demons able to deceive those who did not bother to check the spirit but fell for lying signs and wonders like what was done during the encounter with roman emperor nero elia prophesied that the sorcerer would pretend to be me and another prophet be, be, and other prophets because he came from the wicked side of intimus solomon remember the uh when he divided the kingdom because of the temple mixed with the heathen imposters. He challenged even me, and I instructed my followers to pay no heed, because as it was written, you shall see Tatan, you shall serve Tatanzambi and Pungu, your and Fumu, and only him shall you serve. The imposter removed his encounter and from the scriptures, and the apostles have infiltrated everywhere. Secret sites can be found, everywhere secret sites can be found. And so that's why um, they changed the text to reflect um, Rome's dominance as the church, and the protest didn't fix anything. It's all still messed up. And and it's now because now because I'm say, now because of this, an imposter occupies the real throne of Tatanzambi. The recompense for those who allow this treachery will be dealt with. For Shaitani cannot be the king of kings. And Simone the sorcerer can never be me. The toddy rejected by the builders. I have sent many to, le to learn the way of Tatanzami. Some of them were devoured by the wolves in sheep's clothing. While still others gave warnings that everything was not as it seems. But Tatanzambi understood that jealousy and pride continues to be the weakness of this chosen. The veil will soon be lifted from the hearts of the blind, and humility will strive the, those who were designed to be a stumbling block, those who have remained under the spells of the wicked, and those who did everything they could to fight the tears and listen to my voice. It's very sad to see those who provide help, who provide help to them to open the sheep gate to the wolves. This is why some are sp spoken to while others are not, pretend that they are spoken to. This is why I had to show my servant what was really happening that he could not see. The veil was lifted to him, but the dragon since, since that time plotted to put the false king on my throne. 
I allowed him to fool the masses. He believed that he was the one pro that he was the one prophesied. But he is the original imposter, and he is the product of the corruption of those who were deceived by the fallen ones, like in Tino Solomon. The Mwanda Velala has even caused to reveal now the use of their tactics. But they did it, they did not, they did it not by including themselves. Now, now, now you will now. I have, I'm, hand my hand, I'm sorry. Now you will know them too. All praises to Tatanzami. The Dimemi sheep will no longer endure these imposters. Like it was prophesied that many will come in my name, but continue to be denied as workers of iniquity. Understanding Fumu Tatanzami never replaced anyone for me, but sent strong delusions for those who believed he did. For I was with I was with him when all was created. Yalam Kubu, the tree of life, is me. That's why they put me on the tree. For I am the tree, I am the true branch of, of the fig tree. The choice has been made. I revealed secrets to my servant that many are using. Tatanzami's law against him, because of their hearts, when Nabi Simantoko was in prison, his heart was removed. Now, this is the part that touched me bad. His heart was removed. This person speaking before you was still being conceived by his mother. The dragon knew who he was and did everything possible to stop him from coming. Through me, Simontoko used the goal of Tatanzami to, to protect him from the enemy and put those who would give him the tools to do his work, especially the heart like his mother, whose name is Mary. It is no coincidence he had a mother like mine, loving, caring, concerned, and a teacher who would raise him to bring the love to the people of Tatanzambi. His father, like my father, did not always understand the work of the father because of those tears who taught their lies, because they knew the real truth, but chose to obey their master. Being a strong-minded man, he taught his son to get understanding about why things are. Little did he know it would reveal the truth about his belief. Like so many others deceived by these in the time of slavery, they continued to believe that those who persecuted them are praying to the real God. And when they have been, sorry, when they have been with the sorcerer the whole time, now the sorcerer has completely bewitched the whole world of his lies. This is the days of Noka, called Noah the by the imposters, have switched many names of their gods to cause Banabetu to break the first commandment because they chose Baal yet again over Tatanzani. Now Baal sits on the throne the imposters hid from the masses. This is all about the NW agenda, by the way. Soon they will be exposed for all their wicked deeds, continue to endure to the end, Manabetu. Continue to do the things I do the best of your I did to the best of my ability, because soon the purification will allow the word to see how the scriptures were meant and restore what was taken through the deception of Intino Zinga. That's King King and Zinga when, of course, he signed the contract with Rome. Hallelujah, Yimbila Tatanzambi, Mpungu Tulendo, Nsambu Lolo, Nzola Kwingi. Manzambi Zola is coming to his holy mountain, Bayete and Kosi Ingeta. Um, you know, like I said, you take it for what it is. This is stuff that was flowing through me all night, actually. And I didn't catch it till this morning what I was trying supposed to be doing. But, um, you know, like I said, it was an amazing event that took place. Uh, I saw many things, and it really opened my eyes to so many deceptions that this world has not even been made aware of. 
And I wasn't really aware of the fact that many of us in this awakening are in the scriptures, are part of the scriptures, are part of the truth. And of course, in Christianity, with so many people saying that the word was completed and there's no more to come and this is it, that was all part of the way the sorcerer hid his identity from the world. And as I revealed how the devil did it in past videos, which is why you're really seeing things starting to come undone because we caught the thief. But there's more to catch because we also have to spring his traps. Sadly, because of um, my uh, choice choices, we are enduring uh, heartache because of the fact that some of these wolves got in. Um, and and so, as Tatanzami has proclaimed it, soon he will get rid of the wolves. Soon he will get rid of the tears. And soon he will uh, restore what they have done to uh, cause many of us to uh, be devoured. You know, I apologize, uh, Mr. Slak uh, Kano, as a watchman, you know, my job is to is to always keep an eye, uh, my perspective open. And because um, <clears throat> there were those who were sent to cause distraction, um, I was finding myself going in directions and doing things that allow my focus to 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 drift but of course as Tatanzambi was well aware he's like yeah i know these things were going to happen because see the other those there are others who should have also been paying closer attention and of course there were many distractions and so the reality is um as Banabetu of Insolele, we have to learn that the sorcerers, the witchcraft, and all those who, and these are coming from our own people. That's why I said, you know, I, it was revealed to me, it's like I'm saying, I'm like Yosefi. My whole family hates me. Why? Because you have been given things that other people have not. And because of this, it promotes Jealousy, ignorance among those who say, we know better than you. We know things better than you. How could you know these things? And, you know, my my reality is like, hey, you know, like yourself, you, uh, this is for your benefit to help us to do the right things and to come out of this sorcery. Now, I know that those who have taken these oaths will not break them unless they choose to do so. I know that those who were sent to cause a false narrative to happen, this is why I kept telling people you're supposed to be like Messiah and not always talking about Messiah all the time. You're supposed to be like Simon Toko. You're supposed to be like Kimomba, Simon Kimbangu and not let people just keep putting this leadership person in front of you even toko said that he said hey don't do these things in my name it's not me you see and that was the thing that he was well aware of and kimbangu said the same he ran from the most high he ran from the, he knew i was going to be put through this okay there have been many people in churches all around the world that have fallen asleep because of the, of the magic that many people are manifesting in high places. You know, I was given the privilege to see how the puppet master spell works. Oh man. Nothing. Okay. Is not known before. 
I have seen how the they use the crystal balls. I have seen how they use white. Man, I'm telling you, stay away from people who do soothsayers. Okay. That spirit, oh man, okay. That spirit is nasty. Because it's like when Paola got thrown in prison for it. I'm going to remove this demon. Of, it's a demon that that girl was under that was being used to foretell, make, make money for people. They do this all the time. They will find somebody who has abilities to go behind the veil and use this person for personal gain. I have had encounters with some of these people who try to get me to join them. Oh, I can make you rich. I can do this. I can do this to you. Oh, no. But see, at the same time, you know, I was listening to when the brother talked about what happened to one of his relatives when they were jealous of him. They caused him to go blind because he could do what they couldn't do. Do you really understand what happens when you do that? That the Most High hates that. That your jealousy because some person can do something that you cannot do. Or you know something that other people don't. You really don't know who the Most High has sent down here. For a reason. He has blocked this concept. Because the whole reason why he brought me into the, this, this awakening. He wanted to see how my Makanda would treat me. What would happen? How would they interact with me? He wanted to know what people would do with someone they didn't even know was among them. That their identity was hidden for a reason, you know? Remember that show, um, it's called Hidden Bosses or whatever, where the boss will come down and he will disguise himself as one of the workers. And he will sit there and he will listen to what's going on in this company. And he will listen and he will see, you know, they, they used to they televise this and it's like, um, he would, and then at this end, he would reveal himself. Oh, that's our CEO, whatever, whatever. Oh, I didn't know it was you. Oh, I'm going to, and he said, oh, I'm going to, I heard everything you say, and I'm going to do this for you, and I'm going to do that for you. But then he also would hear the people that were also doing the bad things. Remember those? He's like, oh, you're stealing from me? Oh, you're doing that? Oh, okay, you're doing you're you're trying to hurt my company? Oh, I'm gonna deal with you. Okay. Well, yeah, Tatan Zombie did that. King Congo did that. He said, I am going to come down in the Mwanda, the Mwanda Villa, to see what's going on with my people. And how they are treating one another. And what is going on with this world that we see. But they will not know who came to pay a visit. Because they will assume. Just like when Toko met the zombie. People talked about this. If he could do that with Toko. How do you know he didn't do it again? <laughs> See, that's why Isaiah said this. I'm going to go to the scriptures now. I'm, I'm, I have to get ready to go. Like I said, this is going to be boom. This is going to be a bomb that just went off. Because nobody knew who was sitting in their, in their presence. The whole time, I didn't even know what he did 
I didn't even know what was going on. I was like, whoa, how do I know this stuff? I don't ever I, see anybody who knows me growing up. I'm speaking like a foreign language to them. I never used to speak like any of this. They're looking at this guy. They're going to be like, Trey lost his mind. He gone crazy out here. Trey's losing it. Who, Who's talking to him? He, he's be, he, no, God's not doing that to you. I've had that conversation. But see, the problem is I didn't know who was on, was, was against me. Even my own family. That we don't even talk no more. That they watch me from a distance. Out of fear that I have, because they're from the Caribbean, where they see witchcraft, sorcery all the time. Somebody bewitched Trey. He's got a. He went to Africa. He got a demon in him. Okay. What they don't know, and they will soon find out. No, you are already under the spells of this entire world and this entire nation. And of this entire, you were bewitched. Like I said, like the Galatians and Paul said, who has bewitched you? But then he will say, I am bewitched. That is why Kusokongo Yisu was called a sorcerer by the Sanhedrin. You cast out demons by the name of Beelzebub. How can I? Satan can't cast out Satan. No way. But then the devil got smart about that oh i'm gonna see how i'm gonna show them <laughs> this is a, what he did i control my own demons they have to they answer to me so i can pretend to be him and tell them to chill out that is the revelation that was given to bartholomew when he asked them how in the world do you get these people to believe your garbage Oh, they were already sick, but we just chill out when they say our names. That is why I told you, you better be sure the person you're speaking of can raise the dead like Isaiah. You better be sure that these people can preach like Paola the right way. That's why the most, Paolo has said, these people don't know what they're talking about. The, the sorcerer has bewitched them. This is why you believe the whole concept of this world. Democracy for the whole people. Democracy is a spell word. Because America is not even a democracy anyway. It's barely even a republic anymore because the business people control the politicians all over this world because they are the harlots drunk with the wine. You cannot get salvation to people drunk with the harlot wine. But they made me tipsy with rigging the game. And many of us are like this. And soon, because the harlot is already gone, she's locked up. They locked her up. That's part of the reason why people are getting ticked off at me. You see, because Back in 2019, I actually gave this revelation. I probably shouldn't have done it on YouTube, but oh, well, it's too late now. Where I had the encounter, she already knew what I was here for. The most high used people to help me do that job, which was done in the past, in the days of Noka. What you don't understand is when he turned the world over to the hands and the wicked, they started using their ways to trick us to unlock them because we are we were the gatekeepers. The Banabetu's job is to keep those demons away 
and locked up. That was why the devil had to trick us, just like he did in the days of Noka when he tricked, because that was the role of the children of Sethu was to make sure the demons stayed locked up. That's the whole purpose why he tricked those people. Oh, no, Amadama. Why? Because once we come down, we teach them how to unlock their people. But there were those who couldn't come out because it was already decreed that they had to stay in there for so, for so long. And then one of them was never coming out. And they keep trying <laughs> to get him out. He ain't coming out, but he uses his power on them to help get the rest of the people out. You see? And so Tatanzambi was training me to do the job that I was called to do. Lock her up and her children. And now comes the time in this next phase. That's why Isaiah has to be involved, like they mocked in the Wizard of Oz. He comes into play for the wizard. And the wizard is already on the throne. Now, I know I'm going to catch a lot of static from people. But like I said, they I was with them when I had this encounter. I'm not going to say too much more because in the next part, who I saw, <laughs> yeah, that will shake people. Because, see, the Most High was already well aware that there were people pretending to be Mayamona. There were people pretending to be Kimbangu. There were people pretending to be Isaiah. There were people pretending to be Kepa and all the other Abafundi. Just like it happened before when Shaitani caused his sons to pretend to be Kuswa Congo before he came. They mocked it. They changed. They took everything that was in Africa and moved it to the way you see it now to tell the story. And they intimidated people to shut up about it. Because they took people to Esau's land where he was expelled. That's where that Salama is. That Jerusalem is where Esau was expelled from Africa. But then the northern kingdoms took it after the Edomites were destroyed because of all the issues that took place with, with King Saul, with King uh, Antino Davide. See, you got people who think that they didn't become like Solomon and turn their heart and went away from the Most High. Oh, you better believe there's a lot of people talking to M-O-L-O-C-H that you think that they're not, but they are. Okay. Now, because he was, like I told you, Isaiah was watching everybody, including the people telling you he was watching. Because he wanted to see, ah, uh, how will you treat my servants and my sheep? What did you, what would you, he knew, okay, like I said, Elias prophecy that they hid, that the imposter would come to sit on the throne and call himself Isaiah. And now the next phase is going to show you that they're going to prove how wrong that is when the real scriptures come out and the real knowledge starts to be come out and many more things start to be revealed, okay? And it will also show people, okay, many things that you don't even know. I have seen this. I'm still not allowed to talk about other things. But what you will see 
the Most High was already doing, he did something, he did a new thing because he knew there were people going to start making assumptions that they should have never been making. Because you can't tell the Most High what he can and can't do. He can do whatever he wants. It's his kingdom. It's his world. And the dragon was well aware that he had made people think, oh no, this is how it has to be. This, this, this is how it has to be. And the Most High is like, okay, I already know what I did. And I already know what I'm doing. And I will show them. And I show, and he showed the dragon shock something that he didn't think was even going to happen. What the heck? How did, what? And he was angry and he went after the people who were involved in it. And the people who run the world, they know what was going on. Because he told them what happened. Because in this, he said, in this world of mine, this should not be able to happen. It has happened with other people, and of course, they're they're also having the issue as well. But at the same time, I told people, and I thank the Most High for the heart of my mother, because she's the one that taught me everybody matters. There's a, there's a reason why Tatanzami gave me that mother. This is why I'm able to do my work. Do I know that people will never change? Of course I do, but I gave you the chance. The Most High is giving people the chance, just like he did back in the days of Noka. Hey, you see the cane? You don't know what you're doing. This time, though, he said, there would be some who would get it. Because what you don't understand is, this is what they did to animate people that were not from the Most High. They took the, the world that where Cain's children go and open the portals. That's what the portals do. They transfer souls from different realms. And this is why what makes these people who they are. They transfer beings from different realms. That's why the Most High knows, okay, I see the people walking around here with the halos, and I see the people walking with the crowns. But the people with the crowns are being absorbed by the people with the halos. It should be the other way. It should be the people with the crown are leading the people with the halos. You see, that's how the, that's how the world's been upside down for generations. Because the people with the halos cannot bring you to the most high. It's not possible. They have to come through the people with the crowns. That's what happened when we decided that King Congo was not the was not to be, we were argued and said, what you're telling us, we're saying no to. You don't tell King Congo no. And you don't assume what King Congo does. That's why I told people, I'm like, okay, keep making assumptions and keep thinking. Because I know when he did that. They told me, don't tell anybody what you what happened here until the time we let you. And I've only given you some. I've only given a little bit these last few lessons. And it's like, no, I don't know everything because they only they, I'm only being shown what's needed or necessary for me. Yeah, other people may have more knowledge, but he said that hasn't that time hasn't come yet. You see, so yeah. I have seen Kusa Kong, Yisu, the one who said Tremaine Bailey, that people didn't believe me. And I've seen more than that. But the reality check is, like I said, Maya Mona, he was smart, very smart, intelligent man. Knew many things that people didn't even know he was, he was like, he was watching people a lot. He knew who was putting him in prison. It wasn't just the Muzungus and the Kadi and Pemba who were involved. You had those people doing that, the Judases taking pay, pay off, uh, payoff money. And they're still doing that. Many of our people are taking bribes. They're, they're bribing us with big contracts and big money and big things. 
while they have to endure the most horrific stuff to keep that money. But they can't tell you about it. And they've been bringing it out with scapegoats here and there and other people who have decided they can't take no more. And you know what happens to them. But see, it's going to happen. This world is going to see just how wicked their leaders really are. It ain't just America. It's not just Canada. Oh, my God. It's a, it, I'm telling you, nothing is what it seems. You are in a strong delusion, like I said. The puppet master has so many people on strings. And if you try to cut the strings, you're going to have a problem. That's why, like I told people, when you become like Cornwall, they hate Cornwall. And they're going to hate you. And they're going to hate everything about Cornwall. And they're going to do everything to trick you. Oh, yeah. To believe things that, that, that didn't happen. Even me has been a struggle to fight off because of the spirit that was put upon me to keep fighting this hypnosis garbage that they keep putting out there in their signals and in the food and in everything else. Okay. So, yeah, it's going to get real now because they have every plan and intention. This was the whole agenda to bring their, their false uh, religion online. The one world religion includes even him. Because he's connected to them. But he's acting like he's not. And see, the bad part about it, when you call them on it, they're going to call you a liar. Because I had the interaction. I said, I don't believe this. I said, I'm not agreeing with you at all. And the Mwanda was letting me, like I said, just because somebody says they're in Gunza, and this was even how, <laughs> it was funny because the spirit allowed this to be revealed for those who are actually perpetrating this. For those who say they're in Gunza, this, that doesn't mean that they made it, that they made that they're that they're speaking through the real spirit. They could have made demons with they made deals with spirits that, that they should not have. And I have seen that. Okay. Is this to bring dissension or whatever? No. Tatan Zombie is saying the sheep will no longer be devoured by the tears. That's what it means when it says that the tears are strangling the sheep. That means you're being devoured spiritually and physically by them, literally. And the shepherd will now sever the ability to even get to the sheep. That's the whole concept of when Mayamona said that we will be, for those who are doing, who are chosen, we will be behind Ark Mwanda, while the rest of the world has to endure the days of Noka. Exactly what the Most High portrayed it. That's why they hid the concept behind another flood. See, they kept saying, oh, he'll just, he's only going to divide the world by fire only. No. He, all he said was, and this is what people misinterpret, he said, I won't destroy the whole world again with water. Where he just made animals and ate people. He did say that there would be others who would also be remnants this time. This is why they covered it up. And they said, oh, the rainbow is the promise, which of course they mock in his rainbow. All that was saying is that I will not destroy the entire creation with water again. There will be remnants of the creation the next time. See, they always twisted our 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 real our our culture. This is why Kimbangu even talked about in Toku. See, because when he said white should become black and black should become white, there had to be an actual event that did that. That flip. 
And I didn't even understand that that had to, that was part of it. So that happened already a long time ago. Because of everything that we say has to happen in the spirit before it manifests in the flesh. But they're not telling people that. Then that's how the imposter came to his position. Making you think he's the one. And now he put his banner up there that they always knew was going to come out. That was in, that was actually, um, it was weird because it was, that's why you're seeing like the massive snowstorms and everything and all the other rain and everything. Is because the mo you had the um, right after this happened, then you had the um, so-called pope come down there, and that created a huge another problem. See, because I told you, you're gonna know this next phase. You're gonna see it. It's gonna affect everybody. Your, your world leaders cannot continue to operate the way that they do. When it's time, you're going to see that. All right, Zola Quingi, San Bolono, you know, where's the Abbe Patuala? Um, I was going to go over one more scripture here. Uh, let me share the screen. I didn't really do that because I was going to do a lot of things here. Yeah, I mean, you know, as I said, the Kanda, see, tribe. So that's how you knew, they always knew who the Wakanda was. Uh, I'm going to read Matea. As you preach the message, the kingdom of heaven is near, the kingdom of Zulu. Heal the sick, raise the dead, Cleanse the lepers, drive out demons, freely you have received, freely give. So when the Bantu awakening that has been preached by other people for several years, see, 10 years ago, right around that time is when they made the Planet of the Apes. I know, I knew Africa was part of this before I even knew about the Bantu truth, because I sang a song that the spirit gave to me that talked about it. I was just trying to find the people who knew about it. That was being led to these people. That's why I knew it wasn't completely true when I kept listening to the, the Hebrew Israelites. I knew I wasn't being told the truth through Christianity, but then I started listening to Bantu songs and it became more and more apparent that the spirit was unlocking and they could see it. Okay. But I had to finish, I had to prepare myself for the rest of my job, my assignment, that is to still come, which is one of the reasons why they will continue to fight, okay? People don't even know that this whole concept of them bringing spices and everything is about the true culture. They hid that. When the Sambwadi was passed, Malia Magdala, Malia Makongo, the mother of, Yaun, of Yaounde and Salam, these are the brothers of, of, of Kuswa Congo, uh, where many of us are actually related to them, have brought spices that they could come and anoint him. Why do you think we've been telling, teaching people about, people have been learning and been teaching about spices and herbs? This is bound to truth. This is bound to spirituality. And very early in the morning, the first of it, they came on to the sepulcher and the rising of the sun. See, this is why you think that he changed the day when he did not. Because what had happened was he left before they even came the night before on the Sambwadi. See, it says here, and when the Sambwadi was passed, he came out on the Sambwadi and called it the Sundia. And entered the suburb, they saw a young man sitting on the right sand, clothing one, and they, were, uh, they saw a young man, a Muntu, 
clothed in white garment, and they were all affrighted. That's why you wear the white. We wore the white. Okay. And he said, be not afraid, frightened. You seek Usiah Congo of Nazareth. They know where Nazareth is. Yusuf Christu, which was crucified, he is risen, is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go your way, tell his Abafundi, Kepa, that he go up before unto Galilee. Now there's a reason why he appeared to Mia Malia Magdala first. There's a secret behind her. When Yosef was risen, when Isaiah was risen from the first day of the week, he appeared first to Malia Magdala, of whom he had cast seven devils out. But they're not going to tell you why. Because it's also connected to the wedding feast. The way he changed the water to wine, as we were well aware of. And we thank those, we thank the revelation for that for Yaya. And she went and told him, he, now understand that when she is a queen of heaven. And all I'm going to say about that is she's played an important role in the awakening. And that's all I'm going to say to that. And when they had heard the lie, they seen her believe, and then they appeared in form unto them. They walked and went into the country. They changed this scripture because of other things that was happening with her. Okay. So now, remember, it says in Matea, I just said, you cannot cast out, you cannot do these type of things in the correct spirit. In the wrong spirit, but the sorcerer can make you think he did. That's why he was upset when he couldn't raise the dead. And he and he tricked people to think he could. I told you that's why you're not gonna see no Christian pastor raise anybody from the dead, because they can't. You have to be in the right spirit to do that. And they know it. Matea. 721. And this is important because I have actually had this revelation to me. Not everyone that says in Fumo and Fumo shall enter the kingdom of Zulu. That's why we have to keep climbing back up to where we're supposed to be if you are a worker of iniquity. But he to do it the will of the Tanzami which is in heaven. Now see, this is why I talked about with your job, your assignment, what you're given to do. And I'm going I'm to give you a secret to this. Tatanzambi gives everybody a work to prepare themselves for whatever is coming. Okay? How you do this work depends on where you go in the heaven. That's why when you're teaching people to disobey the law, you are low. Because the, in order to do the most high's work, you need the law. You need the, you need the spirit that knows the law. That's the way it works. See, like I said, the whole concept of Rome, Rome was not, Rome was not doing the Most High's work. Okay? Sorry. They were not. Rome was doing their work. But they told you that it was the Most High's work. Christianity, the same way. Oh, our job is to bring people to Jesus Christ and be, he's our, their Lord and Savior. Okay, the church's job is to bring the, the kingdom here on earth, to bring the to bring the kingdom to, to, the, to the, the good news. Okay, if you did that, like you said you're supposed to, you wouldn't be living in the nightmare that we're in now. Of all the stuff you see around you. Because the kingdom would be here. And people would see it. So you are being played by the sorcerer. None of these religions can bring the kingdom to the to here. You see, you wouldn't need all of these different churches around here if the kingdom, if you were bringing the good news to the world. They would see the difference with you. That's why I said the devil can create your problems and then make you think he fixed it. 
He's been doing this for generations of people. And he's been doing lying signs and wonders forever. Thinking it's him, it's the most high and his angels when it's not. Does that mean that his angels don't use you? They can. I I, I've had that happen. Okay. That's why we needed to learn the Bible to catch the thief. But the people who were teaching us the Bible were not letting us catch the thief. And that's what was happening. They kept it with the thief instead of having us go back and catch the thief who stole it. All right. Many will say to me in that day, Fuma, Fuma, have we not prophesied in thy name? Now, this is the catch. People think they're prophesying in the name of Jesus. That was never his name. But they will convince you and tell you, no, his mother named him that. No, she did not. Because <laughs> she was a Muntu. She was a Bantu. She knew the, she knew the, pro even the Malik, the angels knew the proper way to say names in Kikong, in Chiluba. They would not have given him a European name. They would not have given him a imposter's name. They would have given him a Bantu name. So you cannot prophesy. And also, as I found out, like he was with relatives me, he told you I came in my father's name. So his name is also the father's name. That's the trick. They hid that from us. And then I will confess unto thee, I never knew ye, depart from me that work iniquity. That's why we refer to him as in Kuswakon or Yisayakon. Because he came in Congo's name, in Fumo Yave Kongo. That's why you say Yave Kongo Bene I say Yave Kongo Bene Yave Kongo. Okay. All right, so now, in Fumu Yisu has made it very clear to me, and I know I get frustrated because I'm struggling with a lot of things right now because of the amount of sorcery that's happening, because I know things that people have not, because I know things that people were never letting you know that I knew, because they were working in the shadows. So they were always acting like they were my friend, but then they were stabbing me in the back. And I saw this. Okay. And this is why Tatanzambi gave me the revelation. Yosefu. You are like Yosefu. You are like. And that's why. How? Why haven't I been hanging around too much? What did he tell Masa when it was time for him to deal? Hide thyself. Because the day comes when I will now bring the, the, the judgment upon Cain and continue to build your ark that was given to you just like the last time. Continue to help the, like Matuzu, uh, uh, Matuzu and Hanoka were involved with this. People say it never happened. Okay, that's fine. When you choose not to believe something, you don't know where it came from, you're going to get hit with the consequences. I told people, I'm like, hey, there's a lot of people out here. You don't know what the Most High did. And now you will see what he did. Because you never assume anything with Tatanzami. Never. Because he will humiliate you. Like I said, I didn't know he was with me the whole time doing some things. He had done something new. <laughs> and, that, and the dragon was well aware of it. See, because in order for Yesiah and all the others to be hid, Tatanzambi had to be involved. So that the dragon would have no, no way of getting to them, no matter what he would try. The Maliki Mokongo had to be involved 
like that level. How else do you think Moses hid himself in the house of the Pharaoh among all those wicked people and was able to survive? How do you think Isaiah was able to hide with all those who had who had evil intentions against him? Okay. Many of us were hidden for a reason. But there were those who were called to do things that they needed to do. And like I talked about with the assignment part, okay, so you don't do your job, the most High takes everything from you. That's what he talks about when he says, didn't I pay you to do your work? What did you do with it? I gave you this, your gift. Oh, I buried it. I didn't do it. That's what many people who went to the other side have done. Now, there are those who have been given gifts by the Most High. And they did it for iniquity. They will also have their reward. There were those who were given their gifts and they did some of their work. Okay, the Most High will still compensate you. But then there were those who would do a lot of the Most High's work. Okay, but what is your job? And the one thing that was made very clear to me is that when you do somebody else's job that wasn't yours, you're going to have a problem. And then if you tell people that it was your job and it wasn't, you're going to have another problem. And see, the world has conditioned people okay, in this time, that you, whatever work I do, it pleases the most high. No, it does not. You have a specific mission assignment. Okay? People talk about the tabernacle. <laughs> I've been to the tabernacle. And I'll just leave it at that. Our praises, Kemba Takanzami Pungu, Father. Matonda Musaka Jila. I ask Takanzami will continue to grow us in this time. Yimbila Takanzami, continue to help our people as we prepare for the return of you and the restoration of your kingdom. Ingeta. Sambulola Zola Kwingi. I'll do more of the other teachings. They say I'm going too long. I'm going to cut off there. But like I said, you know. There's some real truth in this Holy 12 gospel, you know, but there's others that there's some part of it that's not all correct. But he did say, love is the greatest one of all. Must be love involved. Love has to be there. And it cannot be the fake love either. So they always put that word Christian in there and was not, he never called it that. It's a Bantu Bendwe, Baklistu. They put that word in there and it has nothing to do with him. Okay. Ingita, Sambulu.